Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Today's focus from the book of Proverbs is this. Watch for the warning signs because God places them in our lives. Watch out for warning signs because God gives us warnings out of grace for us. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 16, verse 20. Proverbs 16, 20 says this. Whoever gives heed to instruction prospers. And blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Give heed, pay attention to instructions. It will prosper you. It will benefit you. It will move you forward in your life. And if you want to experience blessing, trust in the Lord. He loves us. He's given us his word. He's given us warnings and he wants to guide us. And so here's the question. Do you hear God's directions? Do you hear God's warnings? And when you do, do you just plow right through them? Or do you stop and say, wait a minute. I want blessing in my life. I want wisdom. I want to live well. I've got to pay attention to these different warnings. I remember growing up as a kid in a home with parents who uh, weren't uh, church goers. They weren't people of faith. They didn't have Christian faith, but they had grown up in a context where they heard a lot of wisdom. And they gave me, my parents gave me all kinds of warnings. Pay attention to school and work really hard. Respect your teachers. I kind of missed those warnings and got myself in a lot of trouble. Uh, be careful with the kind of people you hang around with. I ignored those warnings. I mean, I ignored lots of warnings, lots of good signposts that my parents gave. And over time, I suffered the consequences every time because eventually I got caught or, or caught myself in some kind of trouble. And so I want to encourage you today, just listening to these words from Scripture, whoever heeds, uh, gives heed to instruction, prospers. Good things come to you, right? Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Trust in His Word. Trust in His truth. So here's three sources of good signposts that God may put in your life. Number one, His Word. Read the scriptures. And when God gives a warning about a certain attitude, a certain behavior, a certain outlook, when God gives warnings, take heed, pay attention. Second, God puts people in your life who speak his wisdom, who speak truth. Listen to those words. Who has God placed in your life that's speaking truth? And, and, and you may go, well, yes, yeah, that's good for you, but I'm going to do it my way. But you know that's a better way to walk. So the scriptures and then wise people, and then also I want to challenge you to, to look at the signposts of wisdom of the ages. Read history, read people who've great thinkers from the past, who've learned from the past, and don't feel like you have to repeat the same mistakes. My dad would always say to me, you know, a wise person learns from their mistakes. A really wise person learns from other people's mistakes. If you're really smart, you don't have to end up in the gutter, watch someone who does and say, I'm not going there. So that's the encouragement today. Understand that God places warnings through his word, through people, through history. Listen, take heed, and experience God's blessing. Will you pray with me? Living God, thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for the road signs you give us that warn us, uh, bridge out, uh, oncoming traffic ahead, whatever it is. Lord, you give us clear warnings. Help us have the strength and the, the confidence in you to trust you enough to follow your warnings, however you give them to us. We pray this in Jesus' name and for his glory. Amen. Hey, blessings on you. Have a great day. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we have services every Sunday at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock online and on campus. If you're part of another local church somewhere else around the country, around the world, God's blessings on you. Get engaged in your church. Be a blessing to those around you. Have a great day.